Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are doing well. Today we're going to talk about Kafka Delivery Semantics. Kafka gives you three different delivery modes that you can pick from. Whenever your Kafka producer is writing to the broker, your Kafka producer can be configured to pick one of the three delivery modes. The first one we're going to talk about is going to be at least once, and then we're going to talk about at most once, and finally we're going to talk about exactly once. So let's start with at least once. In at least once, it is acceptable to deliver the same message more than once. However, no message should be lost, right? So if you look at the Kafka producer here and the message with ID 10 and cost 10, it's okay if the producer writes the same message multiple times to the broker. However, it is not okay if the producer just does not uh, just just does not send the message to the broker or somehow just drops the message. So message duplication is possible because you might be sending the same message multiple times, but message loss is not possible at all. For an application that uses this kind of a delivery mode, it can support moderate throughput. That's because the way the the way the application makes sure that no message is lost, is by waiting for an acknowledgement from the broker. What that means is, let's say the producer sends a message to the broker, it waits for a period of time, and it does not get a reply back or an acknowledgement from the broker. Then the producer is gonna send the same message yet again, and let's say now it gets a reply or an acknowledgement back from the broker. Only then it's gonna stop sending the message over and over again and move on to the next message. Because the producer has to wait until the acknowledgement comes from the broker, you can see why there might be some latency or some delay between the, uh, before the producer goes on to send, another, uh, send a different message. So because of that reason, you cannot support very, very high throughput, but uh, any application that you can have moderate throughput in, uh, this kind of a delivery semantic works very well. The next one we have here is at most once. For at most once, a message can be delivered a maximum of one time only, right? So you're okay, so it is acceptable to lose a message, unlike in at least once, where it was not acceptable to lose or drop any message. In at most once, it is acceptable to lose a message. However, it is not acceptable to duplicate a message. Okay, that's the key difference between at least once and at most once. In at least once, you are you are okay uh, duplicating the message, right? Because it is at least once, so you can deliver the same message once, twice, three times or more. However, it is not acceptable to, to lose or drop a message. Okay, uh, for at most once, it's literally the opposite you are capping the number of times the same message can be sent to once. However, it is okay if it's not once, right? It, it, it's okay if you are sending a message to the broker and on the way you either drop it or lose it. Duplicate message is not acceptable. Just as I said, you wanna make sure that the message at most is delivered one time only. This is the delivery mode that can give you the highest throughput because it uses a policy called fire and forget. What this means is whenever the producer needs to send a message to the broker, it's gonna attempt to send the message to the broker only once. That's because unlike at least once, at most once does not need to wait for an acknowledgement from the broker. Because according to this policy, it is totally okay if you lose a message every now and then. So what the producer is gonna do is it's gonna send the message to the broker, not wait for an acknowledgement, and just move on to the next message. Because you're putting so little work on the producer in this policy, the producer can act very, very fast and pump out messages without waiting uh, for any acknowledgement from the broker. The third delivery semantic is the one that is most complex to set up, and that would be exactly once. 
just like the name says, in this policy, every message should be delivered only once. It cannot be delivered less than once. It also cannot be delivered more than once. So message is not allowed to be lost. As I mentioned, this is most difficult to set up because you need to configure both your producer, your consumer, and the broker and you massively reduced the uh, throughput compared to both the other uh, both the other modes that we talked about so yeah it does need some coordination between the producer broker and consumer it's complex to set up so unless your application really really needs the exactly once policy it's better to avoid it altogether it is possible to set it up so it's not impossible to do it in kafka but you will have to make quite a few configuration changes to make this happen. So those are the three delivery semantics of Kafka. As you can see, all three have different pros and cons. And depending on the application you are using Kafka in, you have to be careful about which delivery mode you actually choose. The only thing I'm going to say is unless you really need ordering within your application, you don't really want to use exactly once because this is going to be the most complex to set up and also going to give you the lowest throughput compared to the other two. The easiest one and the highest throughput is going to be at most once. But of course, in that policy, you might uh, lose some messages. If you can't afford to lose any message at, at all, but you're OK with some duplication, you can go ahead and choose at least once. Uh, that has a good throughput, too. But Again, for exactly once, you want to use it only when you know for sure that this is the policy that you need. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will have a few videos coming up next on stream processing, which works or which acts on Kafka. So if you're interested in that, please give a like and subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I upload the videos related to stream processing. With that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.